Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. We are doing a Sunday reset video today, cozy, kind of getting ready for the week ahead, getting ready for school and just life in general. I did share yesterday in my vlog what we've been up to this weekend so far and it has been just a really busy one where we've been kind of go, go, go outside of the house and so I like to make sure I start the week with everything kind of prepared. So Sydney was playing with pattern blocks after field hockey practice and I had ordered some groceries for pickup and finally picked those up. So I went ahead and stocked some snacks, made sure we had protein like chicken, uh, fruits, veggies, and things to make for dinner for the evening and a couple of recipes throughout the week. every Sunday ever since Sydney started school a couple of years ago I try to throw in a load of laundry on Sundays starting out the week hopefully finding some matching socks and outfits to wear and making our mornings a lot easier I used to never have a, a cleaning schedule uh, when Sydney was younger I think I feel like it just didn't matter it was like a rat race <laughs> every day um, but yeah starting out the week with obviously clean laundry, clean dishes, and everything kind of set up ahead of time makes my life easier. I'm sure most of you do the same thing as well. And then I went ahead and washed up some of Sydney's new lunch boxes to get those ready for um, packing lunches for her all week long. What is a fall Sunday without either a baked good or crock pot meal or something of the sort? I have been craving pumpkin chocolate chip cookies and I make these every single year, at least once a year um, during the fall season and I have not made these yet. So I went ahead and made the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I do have the recipe. If you guys bought my... Uh, fall recipes like ebook way back in the day it's, it's still available but uh, the recipe is in there it is just my favorite these are best at least a few hours later or if not the next day when they can soften up in the container they are just so sweet and fall like and of course I put chocolate chips in them today I did decide to put some walnuts in them as well uh, just to I don't know switch it up because I had walnuts on hand and I enlisted Sydney's help. She loves baking with me in the kitchen and giving her something independent to do. She just absolutely loves. I do have to watch her though because sometimes she will lick her little fingers <laughs> and I make her go wash in between, uh, but she loves it.
moving on to that giant pile of laundry. I swear that's always on the end of my couch, it feels like. So I went ahead and folded the laundry. I do take so many breaks because I'm playing with Sydney in between. I'm doing other house chores, you know, making sure the cookies don't burn in the oven, playing outside. We played a couple of rounds of Zingo in between the laundry folding, which is honestly my least favorite chore, I think, out of all of my chores. I think it used to be dishes, but now it is absolutely laundry. Uh, what is your least favorite chore? I feel like I ask this all the time and it's either laundry or dishes. Uh, do you fold your laundry straight out of the dryer or do you just live out of the dryer? Because I am mostly living out of the dryer. Someone mentioned crunch wraps in my uh, one of my last videos when I was packing Sydney's lunches for the week for school, and it had me craving crunch wraps. So I saw a buffalo chicken crunch wrap over on Pinterest, and I said, I have to make this. It is incredibly easy and sounds delicious. I've been on a buffalo chicken kick right now. I feel like I, I usually do when the weather kind of cools down, and Sydney loves it too, surprisingly, even though sometimes it's pretty spicy. She has usually a cup of milk on the side. Anyway, we are making buffalo chicken crunch wraps for dinner. We had those cookies at like 4 p.m. So we weren't so hungry. So we ended up only being able to eat like half of these, but they were very delicious nonetheless. I have a large burrito flour tortilla. I have some shredded rotisserie chicken that was tossed in buffalo sauce, popping that on the tortilla and then topping it with a little bit of ranch, a tostada and shredded lettuce and shredded cheese, and then kind of wrapping that all up, cooking that in a skillet or frying pan with a little bit of oil over like medium heat and browning that on both sides. And you can serve it with sour cream. You can serve it with, or actually you can do like blue cheese crumbles in there if you prefer. I love blue cheese crumbles. I just didn't have any on hand. Um, and this made a delicious, super easy dinner and you can totally make this for lunch as well. Because we had such a late dinner, we played outside after some cookies and just had a late dinner since we weren't so hungry. Uh, Sydney hopped right in the shower and it was hair washing day. I always help her wash her hair. She can't really do it uh, fully by herself and she has naturally curly hair and has never had a haircut. She definitely needs a trim because the ends are getting a little bit tangly, but loaded her with conditioner, brushed it all out after her shower and that is pretty much it. It put her to bed with you know a reading book she's practicing learning how to read of course and so I always you know either read her story or have her read me a book and that is pretty much it I did get out her lunchbox and kind of figured out what I was going to make her for school lunch the next day and that is a peek into our Sunday's Sunday routine, getting ready for the week ahead, school and work and I hope you guys did enjoy. Of course, I took my shower for the evening, cleaned up the rest of the dishes and headed off to bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you with a new video tomorrow.